Today we're going to divide fractions, so let's get started. All right, so let's say we had three fifths divided by one half. Three half divided by one half. Okay. All right. Whenever you divide fractions, you what you want to do, you want to change your multiplication into this division into a multiplication problem, okay? And the way you do that, you want to bring your three fifths down. You want to change your division to multiplication. Then you want to take the reciprocal of one half. Well, the reciprocal of one half is two over one. Okay? And once you do that, that created a multiplication problem just like the multiplication problems we worked before. So we want to just multiply across 3 times 2 and 5 times 1. That's going to give me 3 times 2 is 6. 5 times 1 is 5. I have an improper fraction, so that's going to be 6 divided by 5. 5 goes into 6 one time. So this is my whole number. This is my numerator. That's my denominator. So my whole number is 1, my numerator is 1, and my denominator is 5. And this is in lowest terms. All right. Let's try another one. Let's say I had 1 fourth divided by 4 over 1. Well, again, I want to change, I want to just write my first fraction down. I want to change my division to multiplication. And then I want to take the reciprocal of, of 4 over 1, which is 1 fourth. Now I've created a multiplication problem, so I just need to multiply across. 1 times 1 and 4 times 4. Well, 1 times 1 is 1, and 4 times 4 is 16. And there you go. Alright. Let's say you had five ninths divided by one third. Well, I want to keep my first fraction as is. I want to leave it. I want to change my division to multiplication. And my one thirds, the reciprocal of one thirds is three over one. Then I want to just multiply across. 5 times 3. And then 9 times 1. Alright. Well, 5 times 3 is 15. 9 times 1 is 9. I have an improper fraction here. I need to change that to a mixed number. 15 divided by 9. 9 goes into 15 one time. This is my whole number. This is my numerator. That's my denominator. So I have 1 and 6 ninths. Well, I know that 6 and 9, they share the number 3, but I don't know if, oh, they share a factor of 3. 
but I don't know if that's the largest factor that they share. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down here, I'm going to write my factors for 6 and for 9. The factors are 6, so 1 times 6 and 2 times 3. The factors for 9 are 1 times 9 and 2 times, I'm sorry, and 3 times 3. Well, what are the factors that they have in common? They have a 1 and they have a 3. So the greatest common factor is 3. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring my 1 over. And I'm going to divide my numerator by 3 and my denominator by 3. So 6 divided by 3 is 2. That's going to be my new, numer my new numerator. 9 divided by 3 is 3. That's going to be my new denominator. So this is my final answer. All right, let's work um, one more. One more. Let's let's let you work one, okay? All right. Um, let's go with um, four fifths divided by five eighths. Okay. If you'll please divide those two fractions and pause your pause the video, please. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to write my fraction down, the first one down, four-fifths. I'm going to change my division sign to multiplication. And I'm going to take the reciprocal of five-eighths, which is eight over five. Okay, now I'm just going to multiply across four times eight and five times five. I got the four times four times eight from four times eight here. Got the five times five from five times five here. Okay? Four times eight is thirty-two. And five times five is twenty-five. So I'm gonna take thirty-two and divide it by twenty-five. Well, thirty-two divided by twenty-five will give well twenty-five. You want to subtract twenty-five. So 32 minus 25 will give you 7. This is my whole number. This is my numerator. This is my denominator. So I have my whole number is 1. My numerator is 7. And my denominator is 25. And it's already reduced. All right. Okay, that's it. That's the that's the video on dividing fractions. Please visit um, mathwithmoon.org for future videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye.